Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to cover an app called Obsidian. Obsidian is primarily a note-taking app that was released around 2020. And what we really love about this app is the way that it can connect notes together and visualize them on a really unique graph. So we just wanted to give you some pointers if you're just starting out with Obsidian or have never used Obsidian before. So let's dive right in. First, you want to make sure to download Obsidian to your computer or device. And for that, we'll leave the link to Obsidian in the description below. But all you need to do is go to Obsidian's website and then go to download. And you can just click what applies to you and then get started with it. And Obsidian includes iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux. So you can choose anything here and get started with it. And one thing we do want to talk about is that if you want to be able to sync Obsidian across devices, you will need a paid plan. And we'll just briefly go over the pricing system as well. So Obsidian is free for personal use. And for the most part, this is really the only thing that you'll probably need. But if you do want to use it commercially, it does cost something. And also they have two add-ons, which is the Obsidian Sync, which would allow you to sync across devices and Obsidian Publish, which you could use in order to publish things to the web and also work collaboratively. So, but if you're just getting started, personal use, this free plan will work great for you. So once you have Obsidian installed, you can just click Obsidian and open it into your computer. And it, you'll see that it says quick start here. And then you have these options such as create new vault, open folders vault, open vault from Obsidian Sync. And you might be wondering what does vault mean? Well, vault is kind of like a folder for Obsidian and that's what it's going to store it onto your computer as. So you have to choose where you want your notes to be stored and it's going to store things locally. So you can just think of vault like a folder. And we're just going to go with quick start, but if you wanted to customize exactly where this folder is going to be stored, you can click create and go through the, the process of naming the vault and then choosing the location. But we're just going to go with quick start. And when we choose quick start, we're just going to see Obsidian vault. So it has already created a vault for us and stored it locally. And now you'll notice that there's nothing here and it says no files open. So the first thing you'll want to do is to create a new file. And this is basically your notes page. So you can really write whatever you want here. And the beauty of Obsidian is that you can just start writing and then start to connect your notes slowly one by one. And then eventually you'll see this huge map of all of your notes in one graph and you can see how they connect with each other. So the best thing is just to use it like any other notes app, just write down your thoughts or just organize your thinking through Obsidian by just start to write into this. So let's say that this is note one. And if you want to add more notes, you can click here to add a new note, note two, or you could also open a new tab here to make a new note as well. It's going to say create new file note three and you can also use command control n to create a new note as well note four and the next thing we want to show you is that there is folders here as well and these folders are just used so that you can organize your notes inside folders and we did say that vaults are like folders but vaults are more like folders on your computer and then note the fo new folders here would be more for folders to contain your each entry inside the vault into groups. So now what we want to show you is how to connect notes with each other. And that's really the beauty of Obsidian. So this is one of the most important parts that you can get the most use out of Obsidian. So let's say that we are brainstorming YouTube video ideas. And each of our ideas are going to go into a separate page. Then we can, what we can do is type two brackets like this, and you can type whatever you want in here, or you can reference anything that you have here as well. 
So we're going to put something new in here. And for example, we'll make an Obsidian for beginners video. And then you just click enter. And now we have Obsidian for beginners. And when you click that, you'll notice that it's been added to your vault here as Obsidian for beginners. And when you go to YouTube video ideas, it's going to be here as well. And you might be wondering what's with these brackets. And this is actually a way that Obsidian formats text and it's called Markdown. So if you want to learn how to format your text in Obsidian, it's really good to know this Markdown system. But we'll just cover some, some few basics so that you can just get started with it and you'll probably learn as you go. So every time you want to add a new page into your note page, another page, all you have to do is the double brackets to add a new page here, type whatever you want, or you can also reference it. So if we wanted to reference Obsidian for Beginners again, it works like this. So it's kind of just like linking things to each other. So we can delete this and now we can add another idea, which would be Notion AI video, for example. And we could do another double brackets, productivity tips. And another enter. And you'll notice that this one is highlighted, but these are not. And that's because it's not created yet. So you have to click here first and it's going to create this new note page for you. And if we go back to new to video ideas and we could click productivity tips, then it's going to show up here as well. So let's say that we're going to make a video about Obsidian for beginners. Well, then you might want some check boxes and check boxes here. All you have to do is command control L to make a check box. And first, maybe you want to do some research. And then you could start filming and so on. And then you could click here when you're checked off with doing this. So this is also a good way to keep track of some tasks if you need as well. So here are some other formatting tips that are useful for Obsidian. So if you need a bullet point, you can just type the dash key and space. And if you want headings, you can do the hash and heading one. So if you do one hash, it's one heading. Heading one, if you do two, it's going to be heading two. And if you do three, it's going to be heading three and so on. So this is a really easy way to make headings. And if you wanted these to toggle the headings, you can actually go to the settings here and then you can turn on or off fold heading. So the default mode is that this is on. So you might be confused at first why the, the headings are all folded like this. And it's actually that you need to go to the settings here and then you need to change the fold heading here to off if you don't want that. And there are a variety of things with Obsidian in terms of these kind of little things. And you can usually find the answer by going to this settings gear icon and then checking through here what all the settings are to know and what you want to turn on and off. So that's basically the formatting for Obsidian. And now that we actually connected our YouTube ideas like this, you can actually see this reflected in the graph view. So the more notes you add, you'll notice a really cool effect in this graph view. So we already see that YouTube video ideas are now connected to Obsidian for Beginners, Productivity Tips, and Notion AI video. So this is a really cool way to see how your notes are interacting with each other. And let's say that even inside Obsidian for Beginners, we, we, we had another page inside here. So Obsidian Research. And then you would put some information about Obsidian that's really useful for beginners inside here. Then if you go to the graph view, you'll notice that now Obsidian for Beginners is connected to YouTube Video Ideas, but it's also going to connect to Obsidian Research here like this. So this is the coolest thing about Obsidian. It's just this graph view and the way that you can really see how your notes connect to each other. 
The next thing we wanted to show you is the hashtags. So if you, for example, Obsidian for Beginners, this is about Obsidian. So we can label it by typing hash and then Obsidian. So now we have a hashtag here. So let's also put that in here, Obsidian. So now we've labeled two things with Obsidian. And if we click here, you'll see which nodes are tagged with this tag. So this is a really easy way to sort of search through your nodes if you start adding hashtags depending on the category. So the next thing we wanted to show you is this open today's daily note. So if you click here, it's automatically going to come up with today's date and it just gives you a way to just take daily notes. So this is a good way to just journal every day or just write down all your thoughts and then as you write down your thoughts, you can start linking them to other pages, for example. So that can be really useful. So for example, today I'm working on a YouTube video about, and then you could do the double brackets again and look for Obsidian for Beginners. And, and then you could go to your graph view again and see how it's reflected here. So you'll notice that on this date, is connected to Obsidian for Beginners, for example. So every day, if you just want to open a new note page, you just have to click open today's daily note and you get this note page. And then the other thing we want to show you, so we basically briefly showed you the settings here, but there's really a lot you can do here and you can change many things, especially the appearance. If you want to change your color scheme from dark light or to adapt to your system, you can change the accent color into anything you basically want, which is really nice in terms of customization. There's also themes you can install and you can change the font, text font, everything, font size. So there's really a lot of customization in the way that you can make this look the way you want so that you have the system that really feels like you. And so the customization is really nice with Obsidian. So basically our recommendation is just to start using it and start to use it by linking it to other pages and see what happens. And we really think that this truly is what we would call a second brain, the way that Obsidian works, the way that you can see that nodes that connect with each other and into this massive graph, the more points you have. We hope that this guide was useful for you and let us know in the comments if you do use Obsidian or do you use other apps, how do you feel about Obsidian and if anything was confusing, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.